Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd, and it's my granddaughter Alyssa's birthday. She's 11 years old. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's 11 already. She's growing up way too fast. Way too fast. But it also is Carol Evans' birthday, too. So, you know, that means she gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Uh, thank you for all your comments about my jacket yesterday. And I really. I just can't get used to the fact that I'm fitting into smaller sizes. It's really hard for me. It's really, it's almost as hard as when I had to give away my clothes. It really was. But this past week, I've been like bringing stuff up from the basement. We have a closet down the basement, you know, switch the clothes around. And I didn't put very many winter clothes down there. I did put all my winter coats down there uh, because I do plan on donating them in the fall. But I figured I can store them for the summer. And because uh, nobody's going to be buying a winter coat in Michigan this early and uh, and I was reading the comments and Jane the Brit told me that I should go in the ladies department and get a purple jacket and what do you know I had a purple jacket downstairs and it is a little big it's a little big but you know what I couldn't wear it last winter at all because I couldn't fit I couldn't zip it up and look at me I got it zipped up and everything and I got my favorite one of my favorite shirts on I do my own stunts because I almost fell yesterday when I was going around closing the blinds. I got tripped up and because it, it was chilly. You saw me wrapped up in my ja jacket. Jim had his blanket, it was like a throw blanket. Um, and he had that on and it was kind of like laying on the floor and I didn't really notice it too much. And then I got my foot tangled in it and I went flying. But because I'm thinner now, I was able to get my balance. <laughs> so I didn't land on the floor. <laughs> Reminds me of a story. One. <laughs> When we went to, I've told this before, but for my new subscribers, you, you've never heard it probably. But uh, every year for our anniversary, because we got married on July 2nd, um, and, and even when I picked it, I couldn't figure, remember that it was the 4th of July weekend. We got married on a Friday. We went on our honeymoon. We left on Sunday morning. We went to Cedar Point, young. We were 20. And uh, I couldn't believe all the traffic, and I couldn't believe how many people were at the park. And I'm thinking, why are all you? <laughs> 4th of July, duh. But anyway, uh, so every year for the 4th of July, uh, we always go to Greenfield Village because they have, um, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra plays um, music and then they had the fireworks during the Tchaikovsky's or of, uh, Overture of 1812. And uh, so we go every year and we bring a cake and we celebrate and my family comes and that. And the one year Jim had bought me, which was the newest craze, was the uh, recliner, um, you know, fold-up chairs that you carry, but it was a recliner. And then when you put it, when you put it up, the recliner came up, and there was a little space between the, uh, the footstool and the chair that you could put your legs down. If you didn't want to put your feet up, you could put your feet down. And I was heavy. I was heavy back then. And uh, I was sitting in the chair, and they and we sat in like a big circle all around us. And then there was people, obviously, people all around. What you do is you bring a picnic lunch, and it starts early in the evening. It starts about 7, you can get in, I think 6 or 7. And you have a picnic lunch, or you, vis you, know, you go through the, the village, which if you're ever in Dearborn, Michigan, uh, the Henry Ford Greenfield Village is like the perfect place to go. It's just beautiful. But anyway, um, I digress. But anyway, uh, so we were sitting around. We had already eaten in that. And it was just starting to get a little dusky, and the you know the symphony was playing. It was it was a nice night, and uh, they brought out the cake, so they sang happy anniversary to us. And I got up to get my piece of cake, being the fat girl that I was, I wanted to get my cake quick, and got out of my stood up from my chair, but forgot it was a a recliner, and tripped and f I was going to fall, but I didn't want to fall, so I went dragging the chair stumbling along and then I fell on the ground and I rolled with the chair and my family laughed so hard because it was such a sight it was such a sight all the people around us that didn't know us came running over to help me and couldn't believe the nerve of my family laughing at me and they you know like are you okay are you okay and I go yeah I'm fine you know whatever and uh 
they says, oh, I can't, and the one lady says, I can't believe your family was laughing at you. And I go, this is my family. As soon as they saw I was fine, you know, they looked first, and then when they saw that I was okay, then they laughed. That's just who we are. If you fall out of a chair, we're going to say, are you okay? And then, then ah, you fool. But anyway, so anyhow, I don't even know how I got on that subject, talking about that. Oh, that I'm thinner now that I can fit this jacket. I, did, I couldn't even fit my jacket back then. I've had this jacket. I've told you I keep clothes forever and ever. I've had this jacket since probably the 80s. But I haven't worn it in a long time. And it was one of these jackets like, you know, I'm going to get back into it. I'm going to get back into it. Oh, I know. It was because of my shirt. I do my own stunts. I knew it would come back. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes a while. Um... But anyway, I have to drive David to driver's training again today, and then I, he does the other ones he can go to after school. It's uh, he can get to it from after school. And then where else am I gonna do today? I think that's about it. I I didn't have any berries yesterday. I didn't have all my berries were gone, and that's why I didn't have berries. But I went to the store yesterday after I dropped David off at driver's training and got my berries. So I will have my familiar berries today for my. Uh, breakfast, lunch, whatever you want to call it, brunch. And then for dinner, I'm going to have some chicken. And I bought a broccoli slaw, which I'm going to have um, broccoli slaw. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato to it. And I think I'm going to have, I bought that rice again, that broccoli cauliflower rice, but I also just bought cauliflower rice. And I'm going to have one of those two with it. And stay on track, go for my walk. It's a little muggy but breezy, if that makes any sense. I think I might end up taking the jacket off, but for now I think I'm going to have it on. As you can see, it's garbage day. So, and what else? I counted my pots, and I ended up, I have 33 pots I, I planted. That's a lot of pots. But I like to, when I get back from my walk, not so much now because it did rain all last night, and all this, most of this morning, so they're pretty much watered. But after I go for my walk, I always come home and give them a quick little squirt. Gives me something to do. But. Okay, let's go for a walk. It's going to be a nice day. I can just tell. Well, let me tell you, it was quite muggy. But it was a nice walk. I really didn't need the jacket, but I was too lazy. I didn't want to carry it. So, um, I'm going to go and drink my water. Get on with my day. See what trouble I can get into. Because we know me. I can get into trouble. Okay, it's time to eat. Because soon I have to go pick up David for his driver's training. As usual, I started my day with a prayer. I drank 64 ounces of water. My quote is, it's a slow process, but quitting will not speed it up. Uh, zero for my egg, berries, banana, grapefruit, tea, and water. Three points for my three slices of center cut Kroger bacon. Three points for my half of a lender's plain bagel. And one point for my laughing cow cheese. It's a seven point breakfast, so I have 17 points left for my dinner. And I'm gonna enjoy this. I know it's a lot, but I got my berries back. Yay! They were missing me yesterday. Okay, this is something I rarely do, but I'm gonna eat lunch because I'm a little hungry. Um, 16 turkey pepperonis for one point, one low fat cheese stick for one point, and this is a chicken enchilada um, that I made a while ago. I forget how many points it was, but I think it was three, I'm guessing. Um, if it's more, I'll just figure it into my, what do you call it, weeklies. I don't eat that, I'm hungry. I'm going to go see Sebastian's soccer game, but before I went, before I went, before I go, I mean, um, I wanted to share this, this little thing I saw on Facebook. I, I, it really got me to thinking, it really did. So I just was wondering how you would answer this. Um, so you're driving down the street in your car it's pouring rain and it's really cold it's just like the worst day ever and you come up to a bus stop and on the at the bus stop there's three people sitting uh, on the park bench or the bus stop bench and the one is for men it would be the woman of your dreams or for men women it would be the man of your dreams for me i'm going to say it's the man of my dreams sitting on the bench also next to that man is my best friend who once saved my life and then next to him is um, an old woman that uh, she just looks like she needs to go to the hospital. She just she looks so bad and she should not be in that rain and that cold. She should be getting a ride. Now you only have room for one person in your car 
And so you pull over to stop and help one of them out. Who are you going to help? Are you going to take the chance that you're going to see your best friend and be able to repay him or her for saving your life? Or uh, is it the person that is going to be the person of your dreams? Or are you going to like be compassionate and take care of the really old woman that shouldn't be sitting in the rain, that should be getting a ride to the hospital? I picked the old woman sitting at the end because I, yeah, I just think she needed it. But that's not the right answer. What's the right answer? I'll give you a minute to think. Do, 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 do. Okay, enough time. What you should do is you should get out of the car and give the keys to your best friend. Ask your best friend to drive the old woman to the hospital and sit on the park bench with the person of your dreams so that you can get to know them better and wait for the next bus. I would have never thought of that. And I consider myself to be a very compassionate person. But uh, it was a, a job interview and they said out of... Uh, 200 applicants, he was the only one that answered that way. And so they hired him on the spot, which they should have. I don't know how true it was, but, you know, like a Facebook. But it really got me thinking, you know, that is the right answer. That's what should have been done. And I kind of feel ashamed of myself that I didn't think of that. I thought I was being all, all holier than thou, helping the old woman. And really, I would have helped out everybody. <laughs> Except for the poor woman, man of my dreams that was waiting for the bus, I guess. But you know what? He would have met me. <laughs> I could have been the woman of his dreams. <laughs> Boy, what a what a farce. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get to Sebastian's game. But before I go, I'm gonna show you those taco bowls because uh, everybody's been asking about them. I want to thank Bobby over at Mother of One on Weight Watchers because she's the one that put me. She got me hip to them because uh, you know that younger generation. They, they're they're always coming up with all the new finagle thing fandangle things. But uh, it was so good, and it was so easy to eat. I just picked it up and ate it, and it was just, it was just, it was really good. Thank you, Bobby. I really liked it. I really did like it. So I'm going to show it to you now. And then I'm going to stop blabbering. I'm going to get to Sebastian's soccer game. Okay, these are the, I got the whole wheat taco boats, but they also had like the regular white flowered ones. Uh, the whole wheat were less points than the white ones. But it's pretty cool. I like it. And they were very good. They were very, very, very good. Let me show you the... I don't know if they got the ingredients listed. Hmm. Oh, there's the ingredients. But it was very, very good, I have to tell you. Is it going to save any gold this time? We'll see. Let's see. Is that Danny, a teacher at Danny South Lake? Don't go, son. <laughs> He's using his son's jacket. <laughs> Made fun of me because I can't get there. Well, Sebastian's team lost three to nothing, but they had fun. So now I'm come home. I'm gonna have some stir-fried chicken with tomato, cucumber, and some cottage cheese. A glass of iced tea. I have some water in the other room. Um, it's zero for the uh, the chicken, the tomato, the cucumber, and the tea. Three points for my half a cup of cottage cheese, so it's three point dinner. Um, I had nine points left after that. I did have um, three pretzel rods at Sebastian's game, so um, I have six points left for the day. Uh, I don't know the chicken enchilada. I think was nine points after I looked it up on my recipe, so I came out exactly even for the day. Well, surprise, surprise, I had three meals today, but I was hungry today. Um, it was fun. It was a little chilly at the at the uh, soccer game, but I had a good time. And I ate really late. I didn't eat my dinner until almost 8 o'clock, but it was so good. My chicken, I did the stir fry, and I put some of that poppy seed, no, everything but the bagel poppy seed uh, seasoning on it, so it was really good. Okay, that's about it for tonight. I will see you guys in the morning. Give me a big thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.